He goes to his house where he thinks his newborn child is, but it turns out the bad guys have replaced the baby with a bomb. A bombie. Oh, yeah. I love how the flame totally engulfs him several feet away from the window, and yet somehow he jumps out untouched. He must have bought a lot of sunscreen with the massive amount of money he has in his bank account. So he fights off the bad guys and makes it to a safe place with Rodman, who finds a letter and steals it away from Van Damme. Well, it's not a bomb. Maybe it's the access codes. I would love to get paid. Those bank accounts are fronts. Grandma Moses, it's bank account! Pronounce your O's! What the hell is this? A sonogram of my son. We find that Rourke befriends Van Damme's wife without anybody recognizing who he is, and he helps take care of her during her pregnancy. Stavros has my boy. You go back to Antwerp. I'll get you money. I pay my debts. You pay your tits? I pay my debts. Next should be telling me, I am the law. Law! Why are you didn't tell me this before? What do you care? You always play defense, right? It's time to get out the bench. The best defense is a strong offense. Well, he has been out of this movie for a bit. I guess he had to make up for it with three basketball puns in a row. <laughs> Taking you to the hospital, you'll be safer there. So Van Damme dresses up like a John Lennon Pauly Shore pancake and tries to sneak up on Rourke. Queen, no, that's what he wants! No. I'm bigger than Jesus! But Rourke has backup and they have themselves another little shootout. Uh, he's up! In. I'll have to call it a five-pointer. Yes! You played basketball! Please shut up! Work escapes and makes his way to the pregnant wife. While she's giving birth to her son, Rodman helps Van Damme find her through, get this, cyber monks. No, I'm serious. That's what they call them. These monks have been collecting information on Rome for 500 years. Cyber monks. Holy shit! Why couldn't the movie be about these guys? Just their two-minute cameo is a million times better than anything else we've seen. If you're not gonna do it, somebody else has to. We need to see Cyber Monks. Your move, creep. So they find out where the wife is, but it turns out she already gave birth and Rourke has stolen the baby. You go get your boy. I'll take care of him. Thank you. He owe me. So Van Damme goes to a coliseum where work has really gone all out in preparing a climax. He put mines in the ground, decorated them with crosses, the baby's in the middle, he took his shirt off. He even threw out a fucking tiger for all this! It's like Gladiator meets Grand Theft Auto. You gotta give him an A for creativity. Yeah, way to look after my wife, liar. So Rama gets the baby out, who surprisingly doesn't cry despite the fact that he's on a motorcycle and right next to a tiger. But of course, Van Damme can't leave the score unfinished. Let's just get the hell out of this place, it's gonna blow. You take care of my son, I'll take care of Stavros. Uh, wouldn't it make more sense if Rodman took care of the bad guy and you lived happily ever after with your loving family? Trust me, your ego is big enough to survive if you don't throw the finishing punch. <laughs> So Van Damme and Rourke have a martial arts fight, stepping carefully not to hit any of the mines. But again, Rodman doesn't do what he said he would do. He comes back to help Van Damme, just leaving the baby on the fucking ground. It's just a tiger-infested, heavily explosive coliseum of death. It's just like a Chuck E. Cheese. But thankfully, Bala comes to save the baby, and we see Rourke has messed up and stepped on one of the mines. Once he takes his foot off, he goes up in smoke. Oh, shit! Oh my god. We have Mickey Rourke on a mine, in the middle of a minefield, with a ferocious tiger, in a coliseum, with Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dennis Rodman, Belloc, and a baby in a basket. If this does not deliver the most fucking epic imagery I have ever seen in my entire life, I have lost all hope in mankind. <sighs> Let's see what happens.
but oh my fucking god first of all look at mickey rourke's face he just knows that if he's gonna go out he has to go out with a fucking tiger eating him while he's being blown up alive clearly there's no other option well i may as well give them what they want second we have a whole coliseum going up in flames and yet they still manage to get their product placements in there Hell, they're literally throwing them at us! Third, with all these explosions and all this fire, it's hiding behind a coke machine that saves the day. Ah, that's a new one, that's a new, you know, okay, I'm not usually aware when I'm starting an internet meme, but by god, this has to be an internet meme! It is far too good! Okay, there was jumping the shark, nuking the fridge, ladies and gentlemen, this is frying the coke! This is the ultimate in awesomely and laughably implausible. We might as well just end it here, folks. I'm not gonna top that. I mean, the movie pretty much does anyway. Felix says they're cool and they just go off their separate ways. He doesn't meet up with his wife or anything. But honestly, who wants to see that after this scene? I mean, just go out on that high note. So yeah, the rest of the movie is dumb and laughably silly, but it was totally worth it just for that moment. I want that image framed and put on my wall, it's that awesome. We mere mortals wish we could go out in such a cool way. So if you want a stupid movie, but with the mother of all endings, check this flick out. It's totally worth it just for that one minute of ecstasy. I'm the Nostalgia Critic, guy. Remember it? I'm sure as hell not gonna fucking forget it. Mary, Mary on the floor. She's looking freak, but she's much more. Ain't she fun chic? She's the head of state patrol. Head to toe. My shade of peach. That's the secret she likes to keep. She likes the boys, think they're cool. But between her legs are the family jewels. Bank account numbers.